This Evans Tuning Tech article is going to show you how to install a limited slip differential in your Honda B-Series transmission. The first thing we need to do is take off the grounding bracket that's located on the transmission here. And there's two 12 mm bolts holding it on. I'm just going to loosen these up. The second thing we need to do is remove the speed sensor that's located on the transmission. There's one 10 mm bolt holding it on. You're just going to simply loosen it up. And simply twist that'll pull right out. The third thing we need to remove is the reverse idler gear shaft bolt which is located right here. It's a 14 mil held bolt so I'm going to go ahead and loosen this. The next thing we need to do is remove the bolts that have spring-loaded uh, check balls in them. There's two located here and they're 12 mil head bolts so you just simply loosen them. And remove these. These bolts have an inner spring located inside them. The spring should not be collapsed. It should be still uh, springy when you take them out. And there's going to be check balls located inside of each of these. Tilt the transmission and let the, ball, the check balls roll out. There should be two of them and they're small little BBs and uh, make sure you keep these and don't lose them. There's 16 12 mm hug bolts located on the outer edge of the transmission case. You need to loosen and remove all of them. The last thing you need to remove before you uh, open the case up is the 32 mm uh, half inch head sealing bolt located on the top of the transmission here. You uh, simply use a half inch drive wrench, um, put it in, and loosen it up. The last thing you need to do to separate the transmission case is uh, undo the snap ring that's holding the counter shaft ball bearing in place and spread the case. The best place to spread the case is located over here. Um, use a pretty thick flathead screwdriver and uh, to, to pry. So we're going to need to use a pair of snap ring pliers and we're going to have to go in and spread the snap ring here. Using the snap ring pliers you're going to spread the snap ring that's located here. So you're going to stick the pliers between the snap ring and you're going to expand it all the way. With the snap ring spread all the way, you're going to move the case until it pops. And right there it pops. You can see the case, the case spread apart down here. And the snap ring is not holding the ball bearing up here. The next thing uh, you need to do is use two flathead screwdrivers. And you're going to put one on each side of the case that separate it. And you're going to just simply wiggle the case until it spreads and it's coming all the way off like that. Now that the case is loose, you're going to just simply uh, pull the case off and put it to the side. Once the transmission case has been removed, the first thing we need to do is remove the main encounter sets here in order to get the differential out. The very first thing that we need to do is remove these two 10 mil head bolts located here to take out the reverse uh, reverse gear selector assembly. So we're going to loosen these bolts. Once the bolts have been removed, you need to actually remove the selector assembly. You simply pull it out. The next thing is to take the reverse gear off the reverse gear shaft. So, the reverse gear shaft usually get caught up on the, uh, the, the synchro hub assembly here. So you're going to have to usually pull this up a little bit, pull the shaft out, and it comes out in one shot. The next step to remove the main encounter shafts is going to be removing the shift piece shaft so I can take out the shift piece and interlock that are located here. So, take out the shift piece shaft, you simply wiggle it out, come out in one shot, you remove the shift piece shaft, or the shift piece and interlock, take them out. The next step is to remove the three 10 mil head bolts located here that are holding the change holder assembly. So we need to loosen these up and remove them.
The next step in removing the differential is actually removing the shifter fork assemblies and the main encounter shafts located here. The best way to go about this is to grab everything together and pretty much shake it out of the transmission because they, they, they tend to stick um, on the input shaft bearing here. So I'm going to grab a hold of these and I'm going to pull them out. Once you remove them, you can keep everything together and put them to the side. Now that the main and counter shafts have been removed, we can remove the ring gear and diff assembly from the transmission case. Sometimes you tend to stick. Uh, this one seems like it, it's pretty loose and it's going to come out fairly easy.